Warning, all attendees are in listen-only mode. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Admiral Markets webinar of 19th of February 2014. Today, for all of you who attended uh, Marimet with me and Chris, I will be explaining again about Marimet. And at the end of the webinar, I will present you with a trading system which you can effectively use to trade counter trend and fake outs with Marimet. So, for all of you who missed the webinar, I will go through it again. And also, you can ask questions about Marimet. I will also give you my email address for for. Uh, for all of you who don't know it already, so you can ask for Marimet indicator, which I will gladly send to you. Of course, prior to the start of our webinar, our standard is disclaimer, explaining that online educational materials are developed by Admiral Markets AS Estonia for a global audience. Therefore, please take into consideration that information in this session may not be suitable for everyone. To get a corresponding information on charting conditions and any other detail, please visit www.admiralmarketsglobal.com, select your country of residence and contact an appropriate entity. Also, standard is this disclosure this statement uh, that is saying about all the risks associated with the uh, forest market and by reading it, you are proceeding, you agree to proceed further with me. Also, another part of this disclaimer explained that Admiral Marcus UK LTD takes no responsibility for the information accuracy. The analysis represents the personal opinion of the author, it's me, and in no way it represents the actual suggestion for the trade. These are not AM UK's opinions, and the website and video is not .co.uk website, but a globally used .com website. Forest is a risky business, and this is personal opinion only, which should be used as informational and educational purposes only. Of course, today we had great trade on, well, great trade. Why I say great trade? Because it's a 30 pip, 25 pip market today. It's very slow. It's waiting for FOMC today. And this analysis said that you could buy, you could have bought here around 37.50, 37.40 a euro dollar. So again, I can say I was. I closed the trade for 15 pips. It was a trailing stop. But yet again, it, it's, uh, I need to say that it was a good trade because day is very, very slow. We didn't have uh, much momentum to place our trades. But still, when the day is slow and you have 15, 20 pips out of it, you can consider it a good day. Okay. So that trade and possible, possible trade about cat Japanese yen, we, but we will see. I just don't like to trade when, when uh, it's very close to FOMC because you know FOMC can kill our trades easily. Yeah. Uh, USD CAD, I will explain it uh, on uh, Monday. So we will see there will some, be some possible new trades for USD CAD. But last week, basically, it it got a little bit to the upside, but then it dropped down. So dollar is gaining strength on versus CAD. And if you see also a CAD Japanese yen, I'm looking to take short opportunity because CAD is losing ground uh, these last couple of weeks. And basically, we can go for short trades on pullbacks. We will see, of course, on Monday, I will post analysis on five pairs, and possibly it will be one of them will be USD CAD. But today's subject is Marimet, so let's stick to our subject today. And we, of course, will talk about all other pairs on Monday. Five pairs will be analyzed. And, of course, each day, each day, you can read the analysis on Spiders then, on Admiral Markets blog, on Facebook, Twitter, so it's, it, I will always use London and New York session to post new setups. And if you know this has been a practice last week, last couple of weeks, as I promised, I will be posting setups on London and on New York session. So today, it was CAD Japanese yen, also 
now we will see also a couple of days ago if you know it was euro dollar euro Japanese yen as I said new buying opportunity basically what happened with it was yesterday analysis but if you follow it I grabbed some good pips out of it what did it say guys about euro Japanese yen look at this today it was perfect day I grabbed out some 20 pips out of it but it went to straight to target point yeah it was the analysis for, for yesterday but uh, euro yen didn't hit this buy zone yesterday so it is a trade that happened today you see buying zone anywhere from 100 uh, sorry 40.25 20 to 40.00 and it went only a single pip below this level and it went to the target to, to hit this target some half an hour ago I think I got some 20 pips out of the trade but still you need to read about it because 70 pips from this trade well done uh, well done Remantas well done I like to hear that I I really I'm, I'm really glad that you that you did that well done well done Remantas what what can I say really excellent it's almost to the full potential of the price so it's very I can say it's very hard to grab the full potential of the price but still if you manage to be in that good position that was this euro yen it's great and I'm, I'm very happy because we really didn't have a losing trade I don't know for how long but if there is some losing trade occasionally we are still uh, much much to the upside and the market has been very pleasant last couple of months I can say and you know when you go with with good trades and when you go with good systems methods you just do a good money management and you will always be perfectly fine okay so great 70 pips for our trader well done now let's talk about Barimet that's why we are here today who is T. Henning Murray? Murray Met principles, Murray Met core elements, applications of Murray Met on the charts for MT4, and co common more Murray Met patterns. It's a very, very good indicator and it will help you in your trading a lot. Murray Met has been one of my most favorite indicators before I started to use Camarilla extensively. But I can say that Camarilla is, sorry, Marimet indicator is um, shoulder to shoulder to Camarilla. It's really, it's really a great indicator, which plots intraday support resistant levels, and it's a very good in combination when you use it with standard pivot points. You can use it instead of standard pivot points it's very very good I didn't take a look at standard pivot point indicator I just I think it, it, it's a couple of years because I use Camarilla pivots then my red levels and of course if I if I uh, uh, wasn't using that then I would surely use Marimet. Marimet is great so who was T and who is T Henning Murray because he is still a he is still in good condition as I heard so basically I don't know if he if he trades but probably he do occasional trades he's not that old he's 73 72 years still from USA he was born in Nashville in Nashville it's I think it's a state in Texas USA in 1942 then in 1968 he became master level trader it was a 
big, big pleasure to all floor traders to have them as a master level trader because he was very successful in what he did. But we didn't hear anything from him and we didn't know, I personally didn't know of him until a couple of years ago, but the thing is that in 1993, Murray worked on theories of random thinking. He was explaining some uh, theories how mob is thinking. So he was trying to exploit the mind of masses. Not a mind of a single person, but a mind of a mob, of a, of a big mass. And it's basically, if you, if you learned, I, I've learned uh, marketing on economic university, and uh, there we had a, a lot of practical work with uh, brainstorming, random thinking, also different stuff about marketing theory. You know that mob usually rules. That is, I can say, well, the, the same thing is with trading. If you are going in the direction of the big money, you will be profitable. So if you, yeah, marketing, we can say, yeah, is a sort, it's not a literal, but it's a, it's a like a religion. It, it controls the masses, yeah. But you need to, exactly, same principles, but you need to distinguish bad marketing principles from a good marketing, marketing principles. In all marketing theories, being effective and uh, economic is the perfect way to a success. So you need to be economic, but you also need to be effective. For if you know how to be uh, very effective by, by, let's say that car, which uses uh, just a small bit of fuel, is very effective if he gets to 140, let's say, mile, miles per hour. So it's all about effective and economic. Uh, in Forex market, you know, the harder you work, it doesn't mean that you will be paid, but that you will also be paid better, that you will receive bigger amount of money. So you need to know when to work, you need to know when mob, when big money is controlling the market, and when you recognize the chance, then you can jump in into that market. And uh, basically what Murray did, he translated the algorithms of a fractal inside a cube set to the base of 10, to exact Fibonacci ratios set to the scale of music. You will notice later that Murray Matt uses octaves. Murray Matt has basically eight octaves. One, two, eight, two, two, eight, and all the way up to eight, two, eight. Then above this level, there is plus one and plus two, which basically indicated market is trying to break the final resistance and go into another set of octaves. You will see that later practically. But those octaves which Murray said are very, very, uh, which Murray uh, described are very success, successful as pivot points and reversal indicators. That is why I, will, I have prepared a reversal trading strategy based on Murray Matt, which I will show you at the end of the webinar. In the year of 1998, he wrote a book named Murray Matt Trading System. So, Murray Matt is a trading system for all equities. This includes stocks, bonds, futures, index, commodities, currencies, and options. I don't know how it works on bullion markets. If you know bullion is gold and silver, I can say metals, but we call it bullion, and I'm not sure how it works there, but basically on Forex market, which we are trading, it's great. I don't trade stocks, I don't trade any of those except Forex market. For me, Forex, even though it's a tough market, uh, it's very, very good because it gives you fast profits, 
but you need not to be, you must not be greedy you need to be a long distance runner a marathon which basically you're when you're riding forex market you're riding the fastest lane but you need to save your energy be economic and effective because it's a marathon you want to run as long as you can as long as you are out of the fuel and basically forex market although it's a risky business there are months when you really enjoy the forex market and I know that Marimat are is a great indicator and I can say that you should try it using it you should try it using it and you will see how effective is it is in determining those jump points reversal points bounce points whatever now what are basic Marimat principles every individual takes 100 percent responsibility for their own investing position with the amount of of course guts quoted they have to accept a small loss rather than losers run lower or to average down to hope to get even I was citing and I'm citing this from Marimat website the Marimat trading system has never preached or coached individuals to average down their losses since markets may continue to fall lower instead of reversing as we dream them to do of course you dream you dream them to do if you don't use your stop loss and then let's say that you want to go up but market starts to go short and you are dreaming that market will reverse the Marimat trading system has never nor will it since its creation guarantee any or anything they will not or never lose money since economic political and world events earthquakes may turn the markets overnight while normal investors are asleep and unable to exit markets going against their current positions so it does not guarantee that you will make profits it's a standard risk disclaimer for Marimat for everything who can guarantee you that you will get the money even the even the banks they guarantee you three four percent per year and well yeah well holy god yeah Claudia basically who can guarantee you that if you exit the building the brick won't fall onto your head or that if you're living in woods which I don't think that the woods will be started on fire so basically you don't have any guarantee for anything but you strive by using principles which I have been teaching you all these times you can lower your chance to lose and raise your chance to win Marimat trading system common sense approach to investing requires no one invest more than 10 percent of their at risk capital at any one time Murray tells this truth in every Marimat class the Marimat trading system common sense approach is to invest it requires no one except a loss over basically 1.56 percent of their current position at any one time Mare tells this truth in every Mare Met class. Different markets have slightly different risk loss percent, but any normal sane adult has been taught by their grandparents to never risk more than 10 percent or take more than a 5 percent loss. Since 90 of 29 crash, though, fell 81.25 percent. It was a big fall down. 1922 to 1929 US state stock market went up 125 percent to August 25th at 380.25 percent and fell to 38 percent in July 4th of 1932 so who forced anyone to stay in stocks after they made plus 125 in only seven years doing nothing except reading the newspaper the Moremat training system was created to assist individuals with their own at-risk money with the assumption they would not risk more than 10 percent 
at any one time and accept as, full, as fast small loss per trade. The Marimet Trading System and the Marimet Learning Center has never nor will it ever take any individual's money to manage and has never since Learning Center was formulated in 1996. The Marimet Trading System and the Marimet Learning Center has qualified several Marimet students to stand in class and repeat Marimet best odds trading rules, but has never spoken in behalf of any Marimet student to go out and manage anyone's money except for their own portfolio. T. Henning Marian has never he has never professed to be a lawyer, an accountant, a financial manager, money manager, stockbroker, mutual fund salesperson, IPO money solicitor, commodity broker, bond salesperson, forex money manager, nor he has encouraged others to be more than individual traders with their own money. Murray has never asked to or required to take any test to qualify to present his Marimet trading system to thousands of technical analysis traders who want a pure mad crutch to assist them with their own individual best thoughts ideas why they believe any trade should be profitable. And the main assumption in Marimet is that all markets behave in the same manner. All markets are traded by a mob and has have similar characteristics. The Murray-Met trading system is primarily based upon the observations made by W. D. Gann in the first half of the 20th century. While Gann was purported to be a brilliant trader in any market, his techniques have been regarded as complex and difficult to implement. The great contribution of Murray-Met, T. H. Murray, was the creation of a system of geometry that can be used to describe market price movements in time. This geometry facilitates the use of GAN's trading techniques. So GAN's trading techniques have been uh, vastly developed by Marimet and explained in their core Marimet trading book. I will tell you the most important things and the most basic things which you can do with Marimet. The Marimet geometry mentioned above is elegant, elegant in its simplicity. Murray describes it by saying this is a perfect mathematical fractal trading system. An understanding of the concept of a fractal is important in understanding the foundation of Murray Math. The size, scale of basic geometric shapes are characterized by one, by one or two par parameters. The scale of a circle is specified by its diameter. The scale of square is given by the length of one of its sides. And the scale of a triangle is specified by the length of its three sides. In contrast, a fractal is a similar shape that is independent of scalar scaling. Fractals are often constructed by repeating a process recursively over and over. So, Marimet did a mad crunch into octaves. Gen believed that after an entity, pair, stock, whatever, has a price movement, that price movement will be retraced in multiples of one eighth. So, I showed you all. 1 eighths, 2 eighths, 3 eighths, up to 8 eighths. So if a stock moved up 4 points, Gen believed that the price of the stock would reverse and decline in half a point increments. Since price moves in 1 to 8, Marimet divides price into 1 eighth intervals. That is Marimet. We'll show you later on charts. The advantage of Marimet is that a rhythm, a scale value SR, for our entity has been identified. Traditional GAN techniques would have required one to constantly chase price movements and try to figure out which movements were significant. If a significant price movement could be identified, then the price movement would be divided into one eighth. Marimet improves upon traditional GAN analysis by providing a constant, non changing price range to divide into one eighth. This constant constant price range is the value of SR or the rhythm. So, having selected a value for SR, Marimet instructs us to divide the value of SR into one eighth. Those are octaves. For the sake of consistency, let's introduce some notation. Marimet refers to major, minor, and baby Marimet lines. Marimet, Marimet is abbreviated as MML. It's different because MM stands for money management but Marimet stands as MML. These are main octaves, A through 8 and 0 to 08. 
all below that fall into the category of a possible broken market. So the octaves will be recalculated. If you use Marimet system and Marimet lines regularly in Forex market, you will notice that the price usually hangs out in between those levels. When it goes to the upside, it will probably jump here, reverse at the first touch of this level, and then proceed to create another octave. So the another octave, another octave will be created if price overshots plus 28. Similarly, the new octave will be created if price overshoots, it, it went below minus 28. So new octave levels will be given. I personally have been using Marimet Line X indicator and it was proven to be one of the best SR or support resistor levels indicators along with Camarilla. It uses following parameter, parameters. P, default is 64. You can go with 32, but I usually did with 64. MM period, the default is 1440. It, it's daily, but if you use it intraday, you enter 60 for hourly pivots, 1440 for daily pivots, 10,080 for weekly. I personally like to use hourly pivots. If greater than zero, indicator will use P amount of FMP periods minutes. You should you, you should all of other indicators they should stay at their default. In MM period you can experiment, but usually, as I said, I did I did it with 60. So those levels of Marmot lines describe the following: 84 is a major reversal line. So prices between 3.8 and 5.8 MMLs about 43% of the time. 4.8 is major reverse line and it, and it acts as a major pivot point in my math. Think of it as a standard pivot point. MML is abbreviation for Mare Mat. So Mare Mat abbreviation is Mare Met Lines. Because if I said Mar uh, MM, you would possibly think about money management. But we, when we say Mare Met Lines, it's MML. Those are Mare Met Lines. Those are Mare Pivot Points. Okay. So the major reversal line is 4.8. Think of it as a standard pivot point or daily pivot point, the most important pivot point on the chart. On Marimet, it's 4.8, which is a major reversal line. Look at this now. What do you see in this screenshot? You can see how price acts differently on Marimet levels. This is the example of a blank chart, and this is the example of a possible price action. So you can see how price action has been respected. Below 4.8, we are ready to sell. But when market is reaching 3, 2, 1, 0, we are basically looking to buy. Because we want to buy into support and we want to sell into resistance, right? Now, many times it will show that if the price is above 5 8 line and falling, it will generally stop and consolidate around 5 8 first before heading lower. The same is true in the opposite direction. If the price is below 3 8 line and rising, it will generally stop and consolidate around 3 8 line before heading higher. So usually around those levels, 3 and 5, the price will react. It's very uncommon for the price to go basically, sorry, to go basically like this. It's very uncommon. Most of the time, the price will go to predetermined level, which is in perfect confluence with those Marimet lines, and it will be sold or bought.
So you need to observe when you load the indicator on your charts, you need to observe the price action. If the price is between 5.8 and 6.8 line and heading higher, the tendency is to bounce off reverse of the 6.8 line and retest 5.8 before heading higher. The same is true for shorts. If price is between 3.8 line and 2.8 line and heading lower, it tends to bounce off the 2.8 line and retest 3.8 before heading lower. Now, if the price moves above 8.8 is the final level, 75% of the time the price will reverse off the plus 8, 1, 8 line and retest 8.8 before moving higher to plus 2.8. Similarly, if price falls below 0 0.8, 70% of the time, the price will reverse off the minus 1.8 line and retest 0 0.8 before moving lower to minus 2.8. Levels are changing location. Yeah, indeed, Carlos. But only if the price goes above plus 2.8 or below minus 2.8. Only then they are changing location. Okay, those are octaves, and if it goes above extreme overshoot and extreme overshoot to the downside, they only then they will switch levels. But on the same time frame, they will stay like this until these plus two and minus two eight levels are broken. And it clearly says. It, if it price moves beyond plus 1.8 or minus 1.8, then 90% of the time it will reverse when it hits plus 2.8 or minus 2.8. So, if the market was already, was, was already in overbought, it's 8.8, or oversold 0.8 mode. Once we push above this level, it's extremely unlikely chance to reverse. So, this is the border for overbought and oversold. If the market goes above this, usually at the first rejection it will be sold. Also here, usually the first touch it will be sold. But then if it breaks, it will create new octaves. Yes, you can see today through which MML lines, Marmet lines price went yesterday. You can see it. If you it, for all of you who want indicator, I can give you, it's a free indicator, it's not paid indicator. So you will, if you want Marimet indicator, you can just tell me tarantula at tarantula fix at gmail.com, I will send you the indicator. I will send you the complete system which I will present you later, no problem. Now take a look at this chart and you can see how it goes very very fine with price action. So if you imagine this is a head and shoulders pattern and you see that it's very very close to the top. If it breaks a neckline you will probably see the fall, the drop. And you see that in this example, if the price is around 8.8, it has head and shoulders below this level, it's all about selling. It has a good usage in price action methods. I will show you how to use it today, but we also will have Marimet Part 2 webinar, where I will combine price action with Marimet lines. Now, those are very common MML patterns. When the market is going to the overbought, usually at the first touch of the level it will be sold. Usually at the first touch of the level it will be sold. Even though if the price is making zigzag, which is a trend pattern, you know that when the price hits this level, you won't buy it until the price retraces. So when the price hits resistance, which is marked by Marimet levels, you want to wait for a pullback to the support. That is the same thing I do when trade. When I trade, I'm a pullback trader, 
and you saw it today I was waiting for the price to pull back and then enter the market the same happened with 66 65 GBP US dollar trade from our session recap I waited a whole day for the pullback but then you could have seen that it was a nice trade very good trade and it still has potential to go higher the same is for selling you can see that the price usually starts to be bought around 0, 1, 8, those are levels which we use for buying and then when it hits the major pivot line which we said it was 4, 8 it will usually start to reverse so when you're trading Marimet you want to use other confirmations price candlesticks another divergence let's say around tops bottoms and possible trade setups if the price is making a zigzag there are many good usage and opportunities of Marimet trading system and Marimet levels you can see in this screenshot some common MML patterns I will let you uh, to study a little bit to study this screen at least for a minute you just take a look at it and you will see how those levels react when price hits them those are common MML patterns in between 3 and 5 we have a normal trading area below we have consolidation trading area and Marimet called the above levels as premium trading area as those above levels are well they can be really effectively used also in counter trend strategies and the strategy which I will later present you is basically a fake out strategy and it's used in conjunction with Marimet lines now all markets will we'll want to trade inside trading range 3 eighths to 5 eighths 43.75 percent of the time so market will be in between this range 3 8 5 8 if the market goes up too far and moves past its 2 eighths above 8 eighths then the Marimet will set it to the next octave to the next higher set of numbers so when the price goes above plus 2 or minus 2 it will create new set of levels but if a market gets above 8 8 line and can break out into the next octave it will come back down inside this trading range so usually if you see that the price cannot break this level you will usually after some consolidation here you will see a sell-off now the best odds potential are those levels with best odds potential first best odds potential is 1 to 8 Marimet line the second best odds potential is 0 8 or 2 8 Marimet line then the third best odds potential is minus 1 and minus 2 Marimet line so you can go for long trades there for short trades you can go with market is reversing off its 7 8 8 8 plus 1 plus 2 and 6 8 so the first best odds potential for a short trade is 7 8 the second best odds is 8 8 or 6 8 third best potential is plus 1 8 and fourth best potential and plus 2 8 so we usually want to see the first touch of that level same as trading with normal levels that is why I use that on my session recaps when I say trade the first touch it means that we want a gradual increase or decrease and then if the if the price level is hit we take the trade right we want a pullback and a gradual hit of support or resistance level now 
this is basically what you should know for starters on Marimet lines. This is important. I will let you memorize these screenshots and then we will move to Marimet trading strategy. Now, I will go slowly through this so you can print screen it. But as I say, this is introduction to Marimet. The first strategy is very good, which I will present you. And those are most important core elements of Marimet strategy. Try to print screen these slides. Now, if you did it, we will move to Marimet line strategy. So it's intraday reversal trading system based on Marimet. So I can send you, as I said, this trading strategy for all of you who don't have it already. You can send email to torrentialfx at gmail.com and I can send it freely to you. Okay? Indicators which we use are Marimet Line X indicator at P64 and Marimet period of 60. It is traded in the first three hours of London and US session on one hour time frame. Candles should be blue for bullish and red for bearish price action for easier identification of the movement. Entries are taken in the first 30 minutes of each hour. Buy zones are plus 1, 8, 2, 8, and 3, 8. Sell zones are 6, 8, 7, 8, and 8, 8. We look for the price to open at the start for, for the hour and bounce off the major line. Then reverse back up or down for a sell. So what you see basically, if you see that this is, let's say, 1, 8 zone and the price opens here, it needs to go there, there, then then reverse becoming a blue candle and then you take the trade. I will show you on practical examples. So if you are going long we wait for the first bounce and candle color switch from red to blue. If we are going short we wait for the first bounce of the portal level and candle color needs to switch from blue to red. We trade first three sessions during first 30 minutes from the start. TP is the next Marimet line level or anywhere from 10 to 25 pips. Stop loss is 1 to 5 pips below last low of the or the highest high or lower high. Now let's see. Practical examples. You have those lines printed on your screen with those settings which I mentioned. Then, in this point, the candle, you see, it closed here. Then it was blue because it went here, it was blue. And in this point it started to go to be red. So when you notice that a candle switches from blue to red and after the hitting important level, you can go short, you can see. Now the same thing is for buying. This candle was red here. It fell down, it was red, but in this point it turned to blue. It's also 1.8 and what we said, it's the first best odd potential for the buying. So if you see that the candle switches color after hitting plus 1.8, it switches from red to blue, then you can buy it. You can see this was real-time examples. You can see that this candle was red here, at this point it was red, 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 and at this point it turned blue, and you see what happened. So it's a perfect reversal system. For ideal trades, you should always try to aim to basically short from these levels, 
and long from these levels. If it doesn't happen, if the price is ranging, then basically you can take those trades as described. If you see that the price is below 3.8 and it cannot break through it, of course you, you will wait for the candle coral switch from blue to red here, from blue to red here. Also you could, you could have seen it here, it's basically from blue to red here and from red to blue here and from red to blue here. So immediately when the price changes, immediately after the price changes you take the trade. So you don't wait for a candle close, you are trading the living candle. So when this candle color touches this level and when you see it starts to be a blue candle, you take the trade immediately. So as I said, if some of you do not, do not know about this trading strategy, we are using it exclusively on one hour time frame. It's exclusively on one hour time frame. The principles of Marimet lines are similar to trading Camarilla. Well, JS, they are similar, but they are different. Uh, I, uh, if you ask about the way how I trade Camarilla, it's basically that is my proprietary method and I have a different rule set. But if you, if, you, if you watch general look of Camarilla and, and, uh, and uh, Marimet, they are basically, they have a lot similar, they are similar because if you know the price is usually on Camarilla between L3 and H3. On uh, Marimet it's between 3 eighths and 5 eighths. So it's, it's a bit similar. But uh, I trade there is, as I said, it's a little bit of uh, complicated, it's a professional method and I use extensively uh, trend lines, Fibonacci ratios, divergence and so on. But for, for most of you, this can really be enough to trade counter trend. So this is, I use it and it can be really good. And you do it only, remember guys, only exclusively on one hour time frame exclusively. You don't switch time frames, you don't do anything. It's a very simple and very effective trading system. I will give it for free and it's my present to you because you know I'm a professional trader analyst, educator, mentor and I cannot you know, I, I just want to give you from time to time something which is effective and which you can have it for free. A stop loss always, always, always. If you see that the price, let's say, is, is, is hitting this level and it starts to be long here, you always play stop loss few pips below the last low or the last high. This fractal, it will show you on Marimet line level, but you can disregard it. It's not important. That fractal will probably, it will be a signal if you go long to put stop loss there. But I use stop loss always the same way. So if you see that the price candle is going long, you will put it below the last low. If you're going short, you see the confluence here. You have a peak here and you have 3.8 here. So where is the most logical point to place stop loss? Of course, it's a couple of pips above this level here. Okay? You know our webinar about stop loss placement. And usually those principles are more or less the same. Stop loss are placed below the last high or last low. Now, of course, if you traded this candle, which basically was long here, but started to be red from this point, you can probably put a first stop here. And if the price continues to go here, then, well, you can put your stop loss here. But for initial, initial trade, you just 
cannot put your stop loss there because it's too big. Try it with this, try it with this, and then this is called dead stop. The highest stop is called dead stop. Also, let's say that you have trade, traded, traded, traded this opportunity. This candle closed here, right? And when it opened, it went to the downside. So it was red, right? It was red. After hitting this level, 0 0.8, it started to retrace. And in this point, because it's, it's a price higher than the open price, it starts to be blue. In this point, you open a trade, put your stop loss below this level, and you see how it was. So, it's, it's very simple, but it's very effective. And what, what is also important is free to use. You don't have to pay for it. Thanks to myself and Admiral Markets, you will always have good strategies, proven strategies, so you can experiment. This is effectively counter, counter strategy, because you are uh, trading false breakouts. But it, it is very effective. You can test it, you can see it, go with demo trading, and you will see how good it is. Okay? Also, the same principle here. Look at this. The price still went here. Okay, it touched. This is better example. The price went here. It was right because it opened here. It was blue. So it was blue, 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 blue. In this point, it became red. And if you shorted it here, placed your stop loss, let's say above this level or above this level, you always use the last high. And if the price starts to move, then you can move a bit of your stop. No, you don't always put your uh, target price. You just follow the price. If the price, after one hour, reaches this level, then you put your stop loss here. Okay? Trailing stop. Yes, Claudio. Yeah. Trailing stop is great for this strategy. So, very simple. If, let's say this example. Okay? The price has hit this level at this point. You, it, it went blue. You open your long trade. The price hit this level. You put your stop here. Price hit this level. You put your stop here, and you trail your stop by barometric levels. So if the price initially hit this level, and it went through it, then you put your stop here. If the price just touched the level and started to retrace, then close the trade. But if you see that the price penetrated to this level, then put your stop loss here. So trail the stop. Uh, from last couple of months, I've been also with my uh, methods, Camarilla, and uh, when I do those setups, which I give you each day, and believe me, it's not very simple to do it each day, I also use those trailing stops. And those trailing stops saved me a lot of pips. It also, uh, well, it took some pips of my trades. It stole some pips. But also, if I weren't using trailing stop, I wouldn't have uh, gotten a, a great result for this month. So I am up around 5 to 6% this month. And it was basically, I really used that trailing stop effectively. And I suggest you, you can use it also with this strategy. So, guys, this is it. You know my email. If you want the strategy, I can give you freely. I can send it freely. Of course, for other things, each day, real-time analysis of the markets, all trades, all trade setups are posted here. So pay attention to blog and subscribe to webinars. Of course, many other webinars will be, will be interesting. Forex pair correlation, obscure exotic crosses, pay attention to that. Chaos trading with Chris. Also, I will be giving price action trading part three. 
a little bit complicated strategy, but you will you will get all of those strategies by month. So this is part three, a little bit complicated at part two and part one, but well, you're going in this direction. We don't go, we don't side step to the lower. We you're just climbing to the clouds. Then what we will do it's it's this is rank or range bars part one part one rank or range bars very very important for all of you who want to switch from candlestick trading to rank or range bars and in part two i will be giving excellent scalping method which i use also when i posted on forex factory you will recognize it and i will give it also for free you cannot find it on the internet. You will see it how good it is. Also, you pay attention to psychology, spiral of doom versus way to success. Okay? All of those webinars are important to you to become a profitable trader and profitable traders generally. So, guys, thank you very much for paying attention. Be very careful. Today we have, as I always say, be very careful. This is FOMC. Who knows what can happen then? So now we don't trade it. Be relaxed and prepare for tomorrow. Tomorrow I will post new analysis in London and in New York session and pay attention. Thank you guys for your comments. Thank you for listening to me and I wish many green pips to you. So talk to you very, very soon. Thank you guys. Cheers.